Well, it was a great start to the fourth quarter of the season. Uh, thought all three phases performed really well. Uh, thought obviously offensively in the first half, we were really efficient, throwing it, running it. Uh, thought Keith used his legs tonight, probably as good or better than he has all year, running the ball. Thought he distributed the ball really well to a variety of people, Jadon, uh, Kevin, Bishop out of the backfield, Austin with some big plays, Marvin Hall, so a lot of different guys. Uh, and then defensively in the third quarter, creating those three turnovers were big. You know, it's been a point of emphasis for, of ours coming out of the bye week. And not only if you get three turnovers, two of them go for touchdowns. So um, uh, that, was, that was fantastic for the guys. Uh, and then a lot of guys got to play, which was huge, uh, especially with a short week. Uh, a lot of the starters didn't have to play a whole, whole bunch there in the second half. So um, we got to get back to it tomorrow and get ready for UCLA. Steve, all week long, everybody kind of talked about this week. Obviously, when you lose Kaysen, um, you know, he's a talented guy, especially when he's isolated one-on-one. -on -one. So we found some things there to get Austin some one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Uh, if the game hadn't gone the way it had gone, he probably would have gotten more. Uh, so we've got a few few more tricks up our sleeve uh, to get him the ball. But uh, I, I thought, again, and I've been saying it every week, and he blocked his tail off tonight again. I mean, so many of those runs are going behind him. Um, the poor holding penalty he gets, I, I don't know. I'd have to look at the film. It sure didn't look like he did. But he's blocking great. He, his energy was really good. Um, and he's a, he's a force when he's got one-on-one -on -one matchup. So it's good. And I thought Keith uh, you know, found him and, and allowed him to go up and make some plays. So have you ever been a part of a quarter where you scored 21 points in two minutes of possession? No. <laughs> it, was, it was a little odd. You know, the whole game was. You know, I just – like I've always said, you know, I, I respect the game, I, re I respect the football gods, and uh, you just try to do things the right way, and then, uh, you know, the, the game, the way that third quarter went, where we were scoring on defense, it wasn't even on offense, it was a little bit odd, but again, I was happy for our defense, because we need to do that, we need to create turnovers, we need to, you know, knock the ball loose and intercept passes, and so, uh, that, was, that was big. So like you gave the ball to, to, to John Ross three times, twice mm -hmm. on that flat and once on the reverse. Can you talk about those a little bit? What was your what was Well, your ball I about? think the world of John Ross when he has the ball in his hands, and it's a point of emphasis for ours. It was coming into the game. Obviously, he gets it in the kick returns, um, but we're still just trying to find ways to get him the ball. Uh, it's hard to take Jadon off the field um, uh, because Jadon's doing so many good things for us as well, and that's the luxury of having um, a lot of weapons, and, and we're fortunate that way. But he's electric when he has the ball in his hands, that's for sure. Steve, can you talk about what happened there yeah. with uh, Jay yeah. and then Shreve fell on the opposite? Well, what happened, you know, it was the end of the half, and we were just squibbing it. And I think String fell on one of their guys kind of got into it, and then a few more of their guys got into it. And in human nature, when it's one of your guys and six or seven of their guys, our guys, I, I had a feeling we're going to start to run over there. I just didn't want it to escalate, so I tried to stop our guys as best I could. Um, I turned around and Jadon snuck behind me the other way. Um, we got string out of there. There's no penalty for that, but for Jadon coming off the sidelines without his helmet on, uh, he got an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty for that. But I, I just didn't want it to escalate because I had a feeling it could have went there, and I just didn't want that to happen. Is this about an ideal scenario you can imagine for the short week? I think so. I think so. You know, I, I think that for our guys with minimal reps for the starters, in a sense, uh, came out really healthy. Uh, I thought Dexter Charles, you know, speaking of health, maybe a little overzealous tonight, had a false start, and, uh, hit a guy in the back there on a, on a play that he didn't need to, but he, he provides a real, a real spark to us. He's a physical guy, and, but, but again, I think for us, just if I could have wrote a script for tonight, uh, maybe outside of Paul Richardson getting us on the deep ball there, and he's a great player. Um, it, it went about as good as it could have went for us. Can you talk a little bit about Kevin King starting in Shepard? Yeah. Um, I, I think Will will be okay, hopefully. Um, you know, Kevin went in and, and did a nice job. Uh, you know, he, he learned that there's some good receivers in this conference when, when Richardson got up on him on the post route. But all in all, he, that, that's value, invaluable experience for him that he got to <coughs> And Shaq, it sounds like Shaq maybe had a stinger or was uh, a little no, he, up? He's fine. You know, we, we got, we're coming out of this game really healthy, which is good. You talk about the 24-hour rule and everything. Do you encourage them to, to flush this one maybe a little quicker given the Friday game and all that? We're over it already. The preparation's already underway, and it has to be on when you're on a short week. So, um, And I think our guys understand that. They know they know this is a, this is a game of 
go down and play a really talented UCLA team, a very well coached team, uh, on a Friday night um, with the game that, that is, is pivotal for our season uh, in the fourth quarter of our season. So our guys, they, they're already talking about it. So the you know, preparation's already underway. Outside of Kevin. To use Keith's uh, legs going in, or does he evolve in the game? I think, you know, we always have some of that stuff in the game plan, um, and it evolved into it as the way they were playing some of the stuff that. In the, in the red zone to allow him to, to get some of those runs for touchdowns. And that, you know, I, I think that he probably had his proudest moment tonight when he got to run a guy over for a touchdown. So, um, but, but the end result is when he's doing that and he's throwing the ball accurately and we're running it with Bishop, when we have all that going, we're pretty good. You know? So we have, to, we have to try to utilize that as, as much as we can to where he's capable of doing. Decision making maturity. I think so. I think so. You know, there's going to be four or five plays he's going to look at and wish he had back, like every game, like myself included, calling plays. So, um, you know, we're never we're never perfect, although we strive to be. And um, you know, but there was a lot of positives for Keith in this game tonight. You guys didn't punt tonight, and you didn't throw the ball. So, did you ever have a game like that? Uh, not not in a long time. If I did, I don't remember it. But again, uh, just trying to respect the game and do things the right way. Outside of Kevin King and John Ross, what are some other young guys that kind of stood out to you tonight? Um, jeez. Um, you know, I think JoJo had some good plays again when he was in there doing his stuff. Um, you know, I think obviously seeing Dwayne run there at the end, I think we see a little bit of what the future holds for us, uh, the way he can run the ball. Um, those are the guys that really kind of stood out initially. I, I, the young old line, I think, played well when they went in the game, which is encouraging as well. Steve, this is two games in a row now that you trying to do it. We're trying to stretch the field vertically as best we can. As much as we stretch it horizontally, we're trying to stretch it vert vertically. I think Keith, one of the plays he'd love to have back is the post to, to Marvin there, but we're, we're trying to improve that aspect of our game. Getting back to ASJ, how much uh, more engaged is he in the whole offense than what he uh, he's, he's a big factor. He's a big factor, and he will be this this, this last three ball games here. It's a, when, he, when he's playing at a high level and we're utilizing him, we're, we're a better team. And but, but again, it's about spreading it to everybody and finding the, the matchups that fit us best and then trying to make the defense pay. The way that the receivers were as a group, do you feel like they really helped kind of account for the loss of Jason so, Rubel? I, mean, you know, you, I don't think you replace Jason. I, I think that um, we have to find different ways to, to move the football. Jason's a great player. Um, we miss him, and we'll continue to miss him. But we have other guys that are doing good stuff for us. Siler so obviously didn't throw, but seeing him and Dwayne in the same backfield would what was that like? Two pretty looking guys back there running the ball, you know. I mean, Siler probably could have pulled a few more. We tried to just get him to hand the ball off, but he gets he's a competitive guy too, so uh, he can run, you know, he can really go. Let's talk about the fourth down play way early in the game that you guys got stuff on. You just decided not to get the points. Yeah, it's a bad play call. Um, thought I was gonna get something else and we didn't get what we were what we were looking for and uh, hindsight's twenty twenty. If I could do it all over again, I probably would have called timeout, quite honestly. Um, but we went into the game telling the guys we were going to be aggressive tonight. And uh, we were going we to be very aggressive offensively. We talked about our, our pace going in the game. We wanted to play faster and stay aggressive. So I was, I was trying to send a little bit of a message to our offensive football team as well that um, you know, it's not just what I'm saying in the media room to them. It's, it's, it's actually when we're playing the game and, and remaining aggressive. And, um, I wish the outcome would have been better. Well, so. Similar situation. Last play in the second quarter, obviously. Got it. Like seven seconds left in the <coughs> Well, I just felt like we, we practiced that play quite a bit, and we know we can get that off in, in less than seven seconds. If it falls incomplete, we would kick the field goal. Sorry, do you think there's one more question? You emphasized the young, the young receivers early in the week. Do you think that was psychologically meant to try and spur the other guys, the veterans, on a little bit more? Was it psychology? Uh, it's just there? making building them up and knowing that I have confidence in them. Our, our vets, they know I believe in them. Uh, the young guys, I wanted to instill confidence in them that, that they knew, uh, you know, I believed in them and that we were counting on them. I, I'm, not, I'm not worried about Kevin Smith and Jadon and those guys. I, I know they're going to come to play. Dwayne Washington, did he maybe throw a little bit more, two more carries? It's hard not to hand it to, to 25, you know, he does his thing, but, but Dwayne has got a bright future here and, and he'll, he'll get his turn.